Come into a comfortable corpse posture, relaxing on your back in Shavasana. Heels apart, feet flopping out to the sides, arms comfortably away from the body with the palms up. Once you're comfortable, bring your attention to the breath. Feeling the abdomen gently rise as you inhale and gently fall as you exhale. Breathe and relax. Feel a wave of relaxation rising up through the toes and the feet, relaxing the length of the legs, the hips and buttocks, the length of the spine and back, Feel the fingers, hands, arms, and shoulders relaxing. The neck and throat, head and face. Bringing your awareness back to the breath. Practice relaxing mentally. The abdomen gently rising as you inhale, falling as you exhale. bringing the legs together. As you inhale, stretch the arms up over the head to stretch lengthwise. Stretch through the fingers, point the toes, lengthen the whole body, and release. Interlock the fingers, push the palms up, push the heels out, give yourself another good stretch, and release. Bring the knees up into the chest, squeeze the knees in. Rock gently from side to side a few times. Wrap the arms behind the legs and rock lengthwise back and forth. And when you're ready, roll up to a sitting position. Get comfortable. And we'll start our session by chanting Om three times and then the Gajananam to set a nice vibration for the class. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall Hands can rest on the knees and chin mudra. Take a nice deep inhalation. Jananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapita Jambu Pala Sarabakshitam Uma Sutam Shokavinasha Karanam Namami Vigneshwara Para Pamkajam Shadananam Kumkumarakta Varnam Mahamatim Devya Mayura Vahanam Rudrasya Sunam Surasanya Latam Guham Saraham Sharanam Prapadie Yakundendu Tusharahara Lavala Yashubra Vastravrita Yavina Varadenda Mandita Kara Yashveta Padmasana Yabrahma Chuta Shankara Prabriti Bihir Devai Sarapujita Samam Patu Saraswati Bhagavati Nishesha Jatya Paha Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sachitananda Murtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Shri Shivanandaya Te Namaha 
Shri Vishnu Dhamanandaya Te Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarvata Sarike Sharanye Trayambake Gauri Narayani Namo Sute Narayani Namo Sute Om Sahana Babatu Sahana Bunaktu Sahaviram Karavavahai Tejasvina Vani Tamastu Ma Vidvisha Bahai Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Take a nice deep breath, lengthen the spine and as you exhale, gently drop the chin to the chest. Hold the chin to the chest, lifting the chest up towards the chin, keeping the shoulders relaxed. With each exhalation, practice releasing any tension. Then for gentle neck rotations, as you inhale, roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Continue around back gently if you're comfortable with it. Exhaling left, rolling the chin back to the chest. Inhale, rolling the right ear to the right shoulder, gently back. Exhale left and forward. One more round to the right. When the chin reaches the chest, you can reverse directions. Inhaling, rotating the left ear to the left shoulder, gently back. Exhaling right and forward. Continue to the left for a couple more rounds. Staying with the breath. And next time the chin reaches the chest, then you can bring the head up. And as you inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears, tense. Exhale, relax. Again, inhale, shrug the shoulders up. And release. Roll the shoulders back a few times in big circles. And forwards a few times. Very good. If you need to, you can stretch the legs out before we begin pranayama, our yogic breathing exercises. So coming into a nice, comfortable sitting position, sitting tall with the hands in chin mudra, thumb and pointing finger touching, the eyes gently closed. We'll start with a couple of deep breaths, inhaling inflate the abdomen, chest, filling the lungs. Exhale, slowly squeezing the belly in towards the spine, squeezing the air out. Again, inhale deeply, three-part breath, filling the lungs. Exhale slowly and completely. Now inhale comfortably to begin the first round. And begin. One, two, 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 exhale completely. Inhale deeply, slowly exhale. Again, inhale deep, full breath. And slowly exhale, squeezing the belly in. Now inhale a comfortable breath, about two thirds of your lung capacity. And retain the breath, holding for up to 30 seconds. Letting the mind rest gently at the point between the eyebrows. 
Stay relaxed and steady. And slowly exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly and completely. Inhale deep, full breath. And slowly empty the lungs. Inhale comfortably for the next round and begin. One, two, 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 exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly and completely. Inhale deep, full breath. And slowly exhale. Inhale a fresh, comfortable breath for the next retention. And retain this time for up to 45 seconds or just as long as you can without straining. Nice lengthened spine, shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. Turning your attention inwards. You can mentally repeat OM over and over or your own personal mantra if you have one. And slowly exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly and completely. Inhale deep, full breath. And slowly exhale. Inhale for the last round, sitting tall, and begin. One, two, 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 exhale completely. Inhale deeply, slowly exhale, again inhale deep, full breath, and slowly exhale, inhale a comfortable breath for the last retention, Holding for up to 60 seconds this time. See just how still, just how focused you can become.
Just a little longer if you can, without straining, staying relaxed. And slowly with control, exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly and completely. And return to gentle breathing. Preparing for alternate nostril breathing, Analoma Veloma. You can leave the left hand in Chin Mudra, bring the right hand into Vishnu Mudra, middle and pointing fingers tucked in. First, take a deep breath through both nostrils. Exhale slowly through both nostrils, empty the lungs. Close off the right nostril using the right thumb. And inhale through the left for four, om one, om two, om three, om four. Close both nostrils retaining for 16. Make sure the spine is lengthened, right arm and shoulder relaxed, face relaxed. Releasing the thumb, exhale right for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right for four, om one, om two, om three, om four. Close both nostrils retaining. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left. Retain. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. Retain. Don't let the mind wander off. Keep bringing it back gently to the point between the eyebrows. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left. Retain. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. Retain. Exhale left. Inhale left. Retain. Check your posture. Check your focus. Concentrate. Exhale right. Inhale right, retain. And exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower the hand gently back to the knee or lap. Be still, breathing naturally. Being aware of the effects of the pranayama. And when you're ready, slowly, mindfully move back into Shavasana, onto your back. Mm. 
completely relax. Enjoying the subtle effects. Relax. together again. Inhale and stretch the arms up over the head to stretch lengthwise. Stretching through the fingers and toes. Lengthen, lengthen. And release. Bring the knees up into the chest again. Squeeze the knees in. Rock gently from side to side a few times. Then wrap the arms behind the legs. Rock lengthwise backwards and forwards if you're comfortable with it. You can either try planting the feet and rolling all the way up to a standing position, or when you're ready, just push up to stand up. And come to the front of your mat, feet together, preparing for Surya Namaskar to the sun salutation. We'll continue warming up. So first stand tall in Tadasana, the mountain posture, making sure the feet are parallel to each other. You can spread the toes wide, firm up the thighs, Roll the shoulders back and down, relaxing the arms, chin parallel to the ground. Resolve to be focused on each breath, each movement. Take a nice deep inhalation to start. And exhaling, bring the palms together, prayer position, center yourself. Inhale, reach up through the arms, lengthening first and gently arching. Exhale and reach forward with a flat back if you can, reaching out, coming all the way down, palms flat, head to the knees, bend the knees if you have to to get the palms down, making sure the fingertips are in line with the toe tips. Inhale and take a big step back with the right foot, bringing the right knee down behind you, the chin up. Bring the other leg back, push up position, body straight and strong like a plank. Exhale, bring the knees down, keeping the hips arched up, lower the chest right between the hands. Keep the forehead on the mat if you can, or the chin. Then inhale, slide the chest forward, coming into cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, push up into inverted V posture, press back and down through the heels, up through the hips. Then look up at the fingers, inhale, right foot all the way back up between the palms, bringing the left knee down, the chin up. Exhale, other foot forward, bringing the head to the knees and the feet together. Inhale, reach out through the arms, reach up, lengthen, gently arch. Exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale, exhale, palms together, prayer position. Inhale, reach up, lengthen and arch. Exhale, all the way forward. Inhale, left foot back this time, left knee down, chin up. Retain the breath, other foot back, push-up position. Exhale, knees, chest, chin or forehead down. Inhale, sliding into cobra. Tuck the toes, exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left foot all the way back up between the palms, right knee down, chin up. Exhale, the other foot forward, head to the knees, feet together. Inhale, reach out, reach up, lengthen and arch. Exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, reach up, lengthen and arch. Exhale, all the way forward. Inhale, right foot back. Retain left foot back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin or forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Exhale, left foot forward, head to the knees. Inhale, reach out, up, and arch. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, prayer. Inhale, reaching up. 
Exhale forward. Inhale left foot back. Retain right foot back. Exhale knees, chest, chin, or forehead. Inhale cobra. Exhale inverted V. Inhale left foot forward, right knee down. Exhale right foot forward, head to the knees. Inhale reach out up and arch. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach up, lengthen an arch. Exhale all the way forward. Inhale, right foot back. Retain left foot back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Exhale, left foot forward, head to the knees. Inhale, reach up, lengthen an arch. Exhale, with the breath, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, forward, inhale, left, retain, right. Exhale, inhale, cobra. Exhale, inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, right, retain, left, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, right, exhale, left, Inhale, exhale, last round. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, left, retain, right, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, left. Exhale, right, inhale, exhale. You can separate the feet about a hip's width, relaxing the arms, standing into Dasana, the mountain posture. Let the breath slow down. And then you can bring the arms straight out in front about shoulder level. Start bending the knees and slowly come all the way back down into Shavasana. Once in Shavasana, now with the body a little warmer and looser, you can relax a little more deeply. Continue to let the breath slow down. Let the mind slow down. Relax. legs together, the arms by your sides, palms down, preparing for single leg raises, lifting and lowering each leg to a count of four, press through the heels, toes towards the head, keeping the legs straight, chin can be slightly tucked in, shoulders relaxed, inhale, raise the right leg up, om one, om two, om three, om four, exhale down, two, three, Four. Inhale the left leg up, two, three, four. Exhale down, two, three, four. Inhale right leg up. Exhale down with control. Inhale left leg up. Exhale down. 
down, inhale, right leg up, exhale, down, inhale, left leg up, exhale, down, and now for the double leg raises, you can either leave the arms where they are, or tuck the arms underneath for a little extra support to the back. If you'd like to work a little harder, you can clasp the hands together behind the head as if you were doing sit-ups. So we'll lift and lower again to the count of four, inhaling, raise the legs, om one, om two, om three, om four. Exhale down, two, three, four. Inhale slowly up. Exhale down with control. Inhale up, two, three, four. Exhale down, two, three, four. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, and hold the legs up, relax the abdomen. Then bring the knees into the chest, squeeze the knees in. You can bring the head up to the knees, squeeze into a tight little ball, breathing deeply abdominally, feeling the abdomen press against the thighs for that nice massage to the internal organs. Lower the head and rock gently from side to side a few times. Then wrap the arms behind the legs and rock lengthwise again back and forth. And when you're ready, come up and over into child's pose. Coming towards the back of your mat, sit on the heels. Then fold the torso down over the thighs. Bringing the hands back by the feet with the palms up, forehead down. And relax. Breathe and relax. Preparing for the practice of headstand, shirsasana, or the dolphin to prepare for headstand practice. If you have a well-established headstand practice, you can proceed with the proper eight steps. Otherwise, start first with the dolphin, coming up onto the elbows, Measure the distance between the elbows by wrapping the hands around the upper arms. Then clasp the hands together in front, keeping the elbows in place. Tuck the toes under, straighten the legs, keeping the head off the mat. Hips up. And then as you exhale, bring the chin all the way forward in front of the hands. Inhale and come all the way back. Exhale forward and inhale back. Exhale forward, inhale back. Continue with for a few more repetitions at your own pace with your own breath. Exhaling forward and inhaling back. And after a few repetitions, then you can come back down to the knees. Rest in pose of a child again. Let the breath slow down. And then you can repeat another round of dolphin. Or to come into headstand, same two steps are the same. Bringing the elbows onto the mat. Measuring the distance between the elbows by wrapping the hands around the upper arms. Clasping the hands together, leaving a little space for the head. You can place the top of the head on the mat, back of the head against the hands. And then start walking the feet in towards the face, bringing the hips up, keeping the legs straight. Once the back is straight up and down, then you can bring one knee into the chest. Bring the other knee into the chest, coming into the tuck position. Slowly, mindfully raise the knees up, keeping the heels tucked in. And gradually, when you're ready to, you can straighten the legs all the way up into the headstand. Always take your time. If you're still holding the headstand, 
You can practice any leg variations you enjoy, always coordinating the motions with the breath. And once you come down, or once you've finished your dolphin practice, then you can come again into the child's pose, letting the breath slow down, relax. Coming back into Shavasana, the corpse pose, when you're ready, onto your back. You can roll the head gently to the right, gently to the left, back to center, and relax. Mind on your gentle abdominal breathing, re-energizing for the next posture, Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand. When you're ready, bring the legs together, arms by your sides, and as you inhale, raise the legs, swing them over the head to bring the hips up, place the hands firmly on the back for support, fingers towards each other and the thumbs out to the sides. Take your time coming into the posture. Find a comfortable position that you can hold for a few breaths. And as you hold the posture, practice relaxing from toe to head. Nice, gentle abdominal breathing. Turning your attention inwards as you hold the asana, the yoga posture. Take a meditative approach to your practice. You can mentally repeat OM in time with the breath, inhaling OM, exhaling OM, or your own personal mantra. Then for half plow, first take a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, lower the right leg down over the head, keeping the left leg straight up. Inhale and bring the leg back up. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Inhale slowly back up. Now exhale, lower both legs down with control, slowly coming into full plow. If the toes don't reach the ground today with the legs straight, then continue to support the back with the hands, keeping the back straight. If the toes do reach the ground behind you with the legs straight, then you can release the hands from the back, bringing the palms down to the mat or clasping the hands together to wriggle up on the shoulders a little more. Keeping the tummy soft. Enjoying the beautiful stretch through the whole backside of the body. A nice massage to the internal organs with your deep breathing. You can continue to hold the plow for a few more breaths or come back into the shoulder stand, supporting the back with the hands and hold the shoulder stand steady for a few more breaths. If you're in shoulder stand and you're comfortable coming directly into the bridge from the shoulder stand, you can scissor the legs, bringing one leg in front, one leg in back, bending the knees, Slowly coming down, one foot at a time, counterbalancing with the opposite leg. Making sure that the hands stay in the same position with the fingers towards each other on the spine and the thumbs out to the sides. Otherwise, release the hands to the mat. 
If you have rolled out of shoulder stand, you can relax in Shavasana for a few breaths. And when you're ready to come into bridge, bring the heels into the buttocks, about a hips width apart, with the feet flat, push down through the feet, up through the hips and pelvis, shifting the weight to the shoulders. Keep using your leg strength to press the hips up, strengthening the buttocks and back too. You can continue to hold the bridge or transition from the bridge into the wheel, bringing the hands back on both sides of the ears with the fingers towards the shoulders, palms down. Inhale, press down through the feet, press down through the hands too, slowly pushing up or continue to practice the bridge. And when you're ready, slowly come down from either posture. Bring the knees into the chest, squeeze the knees in. You can once again rock gently from side to side, massaging the back, giving a little counter stretch. And then release the legs back to the mat. Fall into Shavasana just for a couple of breaths. Completely relax. And then bring the legs together and the arms underneath the body, preparing for Matsyasana the fish to open up the areas that we were compressing in the shoulder stand and plow. As you inhale, raise the head, prop yourself up on the elbows, push the chest up, and then exhale, slowly drop the head back, lowering the torso just far enough so the top of the head can rest lightly on the mat behind you, but keeping most of the body weight on the elbows. Keep pressing down through the elbows to open up the chest opening up the lungs and the heart center, stretching the glands in the throat that were being compressed before. Take advantage of the expansion of the lungs, of the chest. Take deep three-part yogic breaths as you hold the asana. Every few breaths, you can inhale, press down through the elbows and open up a little more. And when you're ready to release, bring the head up slightly so you can gently lower yourself, bringing the arms out from underneath. Prepare for a nice relaxation. You can roll the head gently to the right gently to the left, a few times if it feels good. And then bringing the head back to center, fall into Shavasana. And feel the effects of what you've done so far. Relaxing a little more deeply with each exhalation. Relax. together. Inhale, stretch the arms up over the head to stretch lengthwise. Stretch through the fingers and toes. Lengthen, lengthen. And release. Bring the knees into the chest again. Squeeze them in. Rock a little from side to side. And wrap the arms behind the legs. Rock lengthwise back and forth. And when you're ready, roll up to a sitting position. And come up with the legs straight out in front, preparing for Paschimottanasana, the sitting forward bend. Press the heels out and the toes in. Adjust your seat if you need to. Sit nice and tall, lengthen spine, open chest. 
Then inhale and raise the arms up over the head. Lengthen like you're being pulled up. And as you exhale, reach forward. Lengthen out from the lower back. Reaching forward. And then just drop the arms and hands wherever they fall. Bow the head. Relax the neck and shoulders. Start settling into the posture. If you can reach the toes, the classical position is to hold on to the big toes with the thumb and the index fingers for a nice energy connection. Otherwise, just let the hands rest on the legs or the sides of the legs. Make sure the tummy is soft. Continue to use the breath to relax as you hold the posture. With each exhalation, practice letting go of any tension any thoughts or emotions. As you're ready to come into the posture a little more deeply, you can inhale and lengthen the spine, bringing the top of the head a little closer to the toes. And exhale, continue to relax into the stretch. up at the toes to release inhale reach out through the arms lengthen out and all the way up 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 and exhale lower the arms placing the hands behind you for the incline plane the counter stretch with the fingers pointing back slowly drop the head back lengthening the front of the neck opening up the chest and when you're ready inhale push the hips up coming up on the heels and hands push up 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 lengthening the front side of the body Point the toes, see if you can get the soles of the feet down. Come up a little higher. And slowly lower the hips. And then you can rotate the wrists a couple times in each direction if you'd like. And then swing the legs around behind you, come down on the abdomen. Make a pillow with the hands by resting one hand on top of the other. Rest a cheek on your pillow or on the mat. Let the big toes touch for a little energy connection, the heels falling out to the sides. Relax. And for Bhujangasana, the cobra, bring the hands right underneath the shoulders, fingertips in line with the tops of the shoulders, elbows tucked in, forehead on the mat, legs together. Make sure the shoulders are down and relaxed away from the ears, especially as you start coming into the posture. When you're ready, inhale, brush the forehead, nose, chin off the mat, slowly coming up like a snake. Lengthening the neck, opening up, roll the shoulders back and down. Pressing back and down through the hands to lengthen and open a little more. Deep breathing, relaxing the hips into the mat giving a wonderful massage to the kidneys and adrenals. And when you're ready to release, exhale and slowly come down. Then make a pillow with the hands, rest the other cheek, letting the big toes touch and the heels fall out. Take a few breaths and relax. Preparing for the practice of Salabhasana, the, yoga, the locust. Bring the arms by your sides, palms down. We'll warm up with half locust first. 
Extend the chin out in front, centered on the mat. And as you inhale, lengthen back through the right leg, raise the right leg up and hold it up. Deep breathing. Lengthen and raise a little higher. And then exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lengthen back through the left leg, raise it up. Hold it up, breathing. Keeping the legs straight, raise it a little higher. And exhale, slowly lower. Now for full locus, bring the arms underneath the body. Try to get the elbows in close. The palms can be down or you can clasp the hands together with the thumbs down. We'll take three deep breaths on the third inhalation, raising both legs. Take your first breath nice and deep. Exhale and relax. Inhale, energy, strength, and prana, the life force. Exhale away any fatigue or negativity, let it go. Now inhale, bring both legs up. Good, hold the legs up, keeping the legs together and straight. Come up a little higher, keep breathing for strength. Face should be relaxed. A little higher if you can. And then exhale, slowly lower the legs with control. And then bring the arms out from underneath, make a pillow, turn the other cheek, take a few breaths, and relax. Preparing for the last back bend, the bow, Danyurasana. Bend the knees, reach back to reach for each ankle or foot. And when you're ready, as you inhale, raise the head, the chest, pressing the feet or ankles into the hands to arch up like a bow. As you hold the posture, breathe deeply abdominally, massaging the digestive organs, stretching the whole backside of the body. See if you can press up a little higher, never straining, forehead soft. And as you exhale, slowly come down. Before you release the feet, you can press the heels down into the buttocks or hips. And then release. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Push up on all fours and slowly start pressing back into pose of a child. You can stretch the hands out first. And as you reach through the hands, get a wonderful stretch through the arms, shoulders, and torso. And then gradually bring the hands back by the feet with the palms up, forehead down, and relax. And slowly sit up on the heels. Sit to the right with the feet to the left. And bring the left foot over the right knee, preparing for half spinal twist. Bringing the left arm behind you close to the body with the fingers pointing back. Inhale and raise the right arm, reach up, lengthen, open. And as you exhale, twist to the left, lowering the right arm, using the arm to pull the knee in as you twist in the opposite direction. Twisting all the way from the base of the spine up. Continue to work with the breath as you inhale, lengthen the spine, open the chest, sitting taller. As you exhale, see if you can twist around, look around just a little further, exercising the eyes too. And then release, come back to center, unwind. And bring the feet over to the right side, sitting to the left of the feet. Bring the right foot over the left knee. Make sure the sits bones are down on the mat, that you're not sitting on the heel. Sit nice and tall with the right arm behind you close to the body. Inhale, raise the left arm up, lengthen. And exhale, twist to the right. Using the arm, hand, 
to pull the knee in as you twist in the opposite direction. Again, continue to work with the breath, inhaling, lengthening, exhaling, twisting. Feeling the abdomen gently press against the thigh with each breath. And then release, come back to center, unwind. Plant the feet in front of you about a shoulder width apart so you can push up into a squatting position for Kakasana the Crow. If you'd like, you can just practice squatting today. Bringing the hands into prayer position, press the elbows out so the upper arms make good contact with the legs. Lengthen the spine, open the chest. And then for the practice of Kakasana, separating the fingers, place the hands in front of the feet. Pick a spot in front of the hands to focus on, about a foot and a half or so out in front so the head stays up. And focusing on that spot, start lifting the hips and transferring the weight from the hips to the hands, slowly, slowly. First coming up to the balls of the feet, gradually to the tippy toes. And as you're ready to, raising one foot, then the other. Nice, steady breathing as you hold the posture. And then slowly come down. You can rotate the wrists in each direction a couple times. Then bow the head, keeping the hands in front of you on the mat. Straighten the legs for the standing forward bend, keeping the torso down. Walk the feet together. Make sure the feet are in a nice balanced position parallel to each other. With the legs straight, wrap the hands behind the legs so you can gently pull the torso in. Getting another wonderful stretch through the whole backside of the body. Letting the head hang loose, neck relaxed. Making sure the tummy is soft. Then release the arms and just hang for a few breaths, nice and loose. You can shake the head yes and no. Shrug the shoulders, move the arms around a little bit, loosening up. Then bend the knees slightly, tuck the chin in. And slowly, slowly start rolling up one vertebra at a time. Once the head comes up, then you can roll the shoulders back a few times. And forwards a few times. Then come sideways on your mat and spread the legs wide into a big V. Bringing the left foot forward, bring the right foot out to the side. Preparing for triangle. Make sure the hips are facing forward. Bring the arms up to a T. Inhale. Exhale, slide to the right slightly. Bring the right arm down and the left arm up. Looking up, keeping the right shoulder parallel to the left shoulder. Make sure the left hip and the left shoulder stay back so you're not leaning forward. You can lower the arm to the ear for an extra stretch and keep reaching through the fingers with the palm down. And then as you inhale, slowly come back up and switch sides, bring the right foot forward, the left foot out to the side. Again, position the hips so that they're facing forward, arms up to a T, inhale. Exhale, slide to the left, bringing the left arm down, the right arm up, looking up at the hand. Keeping the right shoulder and hip back. Deep breathing. You can lower the arm to the ear for that extra stretch. Keep reaching through the fingers. And then inhale, slowly come back up. And walk to the front of your mat with the feet about a hips width apart. Bring the arms up in front of you about shoulder level. Start slowly bending the knees. Bring your seat down. 
and lie back in Shavasana, preparing for final relaxation. First, a little tensing and relaxing exercise to prepare. So bringing both hands off the mat just about an inch or so, make fists with the hands, tense the arms, stretch the palms and fingers tense, and drop. Inhale, bring both legs off the mat, make fists with the feet, tense the legs, stretch the toes and feet, and drop. Inhale, push the hips up towards the ceiling and squeeze the buttocks together tight, and release. Inhale, press the lower back down, tilting the pelvis in, and relax. Inhale, push the chest up towards the ceiling, shoulder blades together underneath, and release. Shrug the shoulders up to the ears, tense, Push the shoulders down towards the feet and relax. Then make a squishy, pruny face. Squeeze the eyes, lips, everything towards the nose. Prune and scrunch the face tight and release. Opposite stretch, open the eyes and the mouth as wide as you can. Roll the eyes up to the socket. Stick the tongue out as far as you can. Try to touch the chin. Inhale and exhale. Now make any final adjustments, get completely comfortable so you don't have to move anymore. Tell the body and mind, it's time to completely relax now. Begin auto suggestion by bringing your mental awareness to the toes. Mentally repeat, toes relax. Feet and ankles relax. Calves, knees, and thighs completely relax. Hips, buttocks, and pelvis relax. Length of the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Lower back, middle and upper back, completely relax. Internal organs, stomach, intestines, and colon, relax. Kidneys and adrenals. Reproductive organs, relax. Liver, spleen, pancreas, lungs, and heart, completely relax. Fingers, hands, thumbs, and wrists, relax. Forearms, elbows, upper arms, and shoulders. Neck and throat, relax. Feel the whole head relaxing, the skull, the scalp and ears. The forehead softening, eyebrows, Eyes and eyelids relaxing, the temples and cheeks, the nose, mouth, tongue and lips, chin and jaw, completely relax. Then mentally repeat, Brain, relax. Mind, relax. Brain and mind, completely relax now. Mentally repeat, my whole body is completely relaxed. My whole body is completely relaxed. Let 
the breath flow on its own now without controlling it. Turning your attention inwards beyond the physical and mental. Feel the peace, the bliss inside your true nature. Relax. gently begin to reawaken the body making little movements as you're ready to you can bring the knees up and roll over to one side into a fetal position stay there for a few breaths And when you're ready, slowly push up to a nice sitting position, being mindful of each movement. Sitting tall with the eyes gently closed, we'll conclude by chanting Om the Triambakam and Shanti, sending vibrations for peace and healing out all over the planet to ourselves and all beings. Take a nice deep breath. Ooh.
Jamba kam, ya jama he, sugandim pushti vardenam. Urvaru kami vandanan, mrityor mukshiya mamritad. Om triamba kam, ya jama he, sugandim pushti vardenam. Urvaru kami vandanan, mrityor mukshiya mamritad. Om triamba kam, ya jama he, sugandim pushti vardenam. Urvaru kami vandanan, mrityor mukshiya mamritad. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 May the whole world attain peace and harmony. May the whole world attain peace and happiness. May this peace begin within each of our hearts. Ambalo Satguru Shivananda Maharajaki Jai. Ambalo Shri Vishnu Devananda Maharajaki Jai. Jai. Namaste.